Hi, this is Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial I'll go through the steps needed to resend a PayPal IPM for a transaction. Although IPM messages are usually successful, there may come a time when an IPM message from PayPal failed to successfully reach the plugin you're using. To resend our PayPal instant payment notification, we'll need to locate the IPN history page. So you'll need to log into your PayPal account first then click on the profile, profile and settings, selling tools, and then you'll be brought to this page here. If you scroll down slightly, you'll see a section that says instant payment notifications. If you go across, you'll need to click the update button. We're now on the instant payment notification settings page, and you'll see a link that says IPN history page. Simply click on that. This link will take you to the IPN history page where we can select which IPN messages we would like to resend. There are three different ways you can search for your IPN message. You can search by date, delivery status or transaction ID. So you can choose one of the following from the drop down menu or from a specific date. For delivery status you can choose failed, sent, disabled, retrying or queued. Or if you have the transaction ID of the IPM message, you can search for that. In this tutorial, I'll search for the IPM message that I'll resend by date. So from the date drop down, I'll choose last 14 days and then I just simply click the search button. You can now see my search results below have come up with the, all the IPM messages sent in the last 14 days. So then from my search results, I can simply select the checkboxes for the IPM messages that I wish to resend. So if I wish to resend this IPM message here, I can simply check the box. You can send multiple at a time, or you can just send one. Once you've selected one, you'll see the resend selected and you'll just simply click on that. You'll confirm the confirmation required for resend. And once PayPal processes it, you'll see sent resending. I have now successfully resent this IPN message. So that brings me to the end of this quick tutorial. I hope that you've learned something and are able to resend your own IPN messages. If you still have any questions or queries, please head over to our forum.